Hey passengers, so today is May the 4th be with you. We are here at Magic Kingdom at Disney World, Florida, and we're hoping that uh, later get into Hollywood Studios to enjoy the May the 4th uh, nerdism. <laughs> anyway. So for me to get a pass today, I had to get Magic Kingdom first um, because the Hollywood Studios was already filled up. And then at two o'clock, you can start um, park hopping. Well, so it's a late start today and it's only about, well, it's about one o'clock now. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, follow along. Hey Joe, roll that intro. different ways that Disney has upgraded the monorail to keep it working. This one might be my favorite though. I kind of like this. I like the fact that there's a little bit of partition. You kind of have a little bit of more privacy. Now you can't look, you know, I can't look uh, to the other side. So that kind of, uh, but for now, this will work. We're passing the Contemporary Hotel. Oh, there's Minnie Mouse. She's on there. Did you see her? Oh, how awesome. Okay. Well, I'm thinking we're not stopping. I'm wrong? No, I'm right. Yeah. So right now, I guess you're just driving right on through. Bay Lake Tower. I've never stayed there. Maybe I should sometime. How about we do a, uh, a GoFundMe so I could stay there? Sound good? I like that idea. Space Mountain. Tomorrowland. Paging Mr. Tom Morrow. Paging Mr. Tom Morrow. Yeah, of course you can see the castle. She is lit up for her 50th celebration. Alright, so it is still with a cover over it. Still getting some renovations done. Still looks beautiful. I'm glad that they do that though. Pretty awesome. So I'm about to come into Magic Kingdom and the pass holder entrance is available. Normally I'm not that picky, but today I feel being bougie. So let's get our Magic Band scan inside the pass holder entrance. Hi. Hi, welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. All right, we got green lens. That means we are still active and current. My annual pass is uh, recurring. So as soon as it expires, it's just gonna restart up again. But I um, I can't think of a time I don't think I'm gonna let that expire. I think I'm constantly gonna make that do. Anyway, so you know now you don't have to use uh, your Magic Band. You can also use your phone. So I'm still using the Magic Band because I like it. I like it a lot and I wanna keep doing that. My phone, if I forget my magic band, I'll have it. But you know what? I am inside the Magic Kingdom. And right now, we have one of the horse carriages. Nobody's with them. Doesn't look like it's a cavalcade, but the horse is here. Let's take a look. Oh, they took it off of the transport. Okay. Nice. Oh, that horse has got to be hot right now. It is 90 degrees. Woo! Okay, how cool. Main Street, wow. Um, oh, I see what 
they're doing? They're doing it backwards. So that's instead of moving the train to go one way, they're just doing the horse. Okay. Total sense. How awesome. Look at the Mickey Mouse designs inside the harness. Look how gorgeous that is. Just absolutely gorgeous, the artwork that they've done with this. How gorgeous. Beautiful horse, of course. Okay. <laughs> this horse is going to pull. Go on now. Look at that horsepower. That's beautiful. Wow. Awesome. Hi. All right. That's a, she's a good old horse. So we're inside Magic Kingdom and Casey's Corners of Famous Hot Dogs. But you see that there? First time I've noticed it, the Chinese restaurant. Fine food. Have you noticed little things that just don't make sense but pop up? Huh. It makes sense with being Chinese theater was an important role when it came to Star Wars and it came to other fine films back in the day. So maybe that's part of that. I guess we'll have to look that up. But speaking of the uh, Casey's Corners, it's still closed. I hate that. It's one of my favorite places. I think I mention that every time I come here. It was one of my favorite places just to come and get a hot dog and enjoy myself. A little bit of time, air conditioning. So, Casey, say something. When will you reopen, Casey? Talk to us. When? You don't know? That's all you got for us? I don't think he knows. Look at the detail that they've added for the celebration. My goodness. The ribbons are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hi folks, so once again, I just made myself here. Uh, I made myself be known. I got a photo taken in front of the Cinderella's castle. And it was so wonderful to be able to take the face mask off. Um, hopefully I put it on right. Gotta take a look. Yeah, I think I put it on right. You know, it'd be so embarrassing to have it upside down, but that's what it is. Anyway, we're here. I'm loving it. I can't wait to explore more of uh, Magic Kingdom, but today's going to be a quick day. I got to go hit another park because you know what today is? May the 4th be with you. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Let's see what we can get into. All right, y'all. This is the first time I've been at Magic Kingdom where the spring roll cart is open. So it looks like I'm actually going to get a chance to have some. I know they've raised the prices since um, I've been seeing the cart being closed. However, I hope I get lucky and I get to have some. I hear so many good things about these spring rolls. If I remember correctly being told, it's a cheeseburger egg, um, spring roll. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope they don't run out. Hello, can I get um, one of each, please? Number three? Yeah, the number three. And then also, can I get a uh, Coca-Cola? Yeah, please. That's $14. All right. All right. So the Disney way is just you find whatever you can to get your food because there's no, not a lot of tables. You hear some music behind me? I think that's Tinkerbell coming our way. It is. Take a look at Tank. She's not looking this way, but there she is. Hi, Tank. She gave me the cold shoulder. Anyway, so I got these spring rolls. I got one of each, and I know it's hard to see. 
Let's see if I can lean down here, but it's about the food, it's not about me, right? So, we've got, uh, I don't know which one, this is either a cheeseburger or it's a pepperoni. And folded in there is, that smells like the pepperoni. And I think this one is the piece of cheeseburger. All right, so they gave me some marinara and they gave me some thin else. I don't know what that is, but uh, I also got a Coca-Cola and it's nine dollars and what? What did it say? Nine fifty for one for two of these? I got one of each just to try it. So let's go. It tastes like a pizza. That tastes like a pizza. I may have to make these at home. All right. This is uh. Now I'm gonna dip in the marinara. <laughs> That's a pizza right there. Mm. All right. That was good. I like that. It's not that big. So for two of them, for that price, um, do what you want to with it, but it's worth it. Disney food is usually really good. And I'll attest, that was really good. So they say they're open every day until 7 a.m. Excuse me, 7 p.m. And I said, well, what about uh, when you run out? They said, we'll make more and have it. So every time I've been here, I was not lucky enough to be open. They said every day from now on, they're open. Let's try this cheeseburger one. Oh, shoot, I dipped it first. I didn't want to. All right. You know what? Fine, I'll dip I'll turn it over. Ah, hi, matey. Dip it. It's good. I really like it. I kind of wish I would have tried the other one first. I'm, I'm hunkered down here, I do apologize. Otherwise, I'm like this, and I don't want to show my belly. <clears throat> All right, so first, let's see what... It's like a garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's good? What is that one? I'm sorry, I'm messing up your shot. Mm. Sleepy Hollow. Uh huh. This is a spicy chicken oh. on a waffle. You gotta see this, folks. Spicy chicken on a waffle. My. And they hand make these there too. Oh, that's a Sleepy Hollow. Thank you. No problem. Well, thank you. Follow us at Traveling Jump Seaters. Oh, we will. Bye. We got some great information, y'all. Awesome. All right, everybody wants to know about food when you come out with your family. Right here, this is good. And I'm gonna keep hunkering down because the camera's not right. So Sleepy Hollow for that, you got the spring rolls over here. I know, I could feel myself. I really like that pepperoni one. So I'm gonna pick it up here. So I like the pepperoni one better than this one. Uh, this is good. I really wish I would have tried this first because um, the pepperoni one was so flavorful that it's taking away from this one. I would buy both of them at any moment of the day if I were not dieting. Today, I'm not dieting. Next time I'm here, most likely I'll be dieting because I have got to get this weight off of me. I don't like it. I'm not happy anymore. I like being a little chunky, but I don't like being this big. So, you know, leave some comments in the, uh, let me know about what you think about dieting and coming to Disney uh, as well in the comments if you don't mind. So, all right, we'll catch up with you soon, folks. I'm gonna go look to see uh, Tomorrowland, I think. Maybe ride Sp um, Space Mountain and then uh, head on over to one of the other parks. We'll see you soon. Look at all the beauty. So they've redone the paint job and I absolutely think it's stunning. I think that it is exactly what Cinderella would have loved to have for her castle. My goodness, she just shines. Those ribbons, beautiful. Just makes it look like a princess would live here. All right. So I never really get a chance to come up to it like this. But I want to see that stained glass up there. Let's see, 
Can we see it? I don't know if we can see it. I can't tell. Oh. Gorgeous, I say. <laughs> Gus, Gus. You know, if I had kids, I'd be on here. If I had other friends with me, I'd be on here too. Huh. Oh. Look at that. It's a Prince Charming and Cinderella over the bridge. The clock strikes 12 over here. What else is there? I'm going to have to walk around. Oh, they're... Their love was real. They met in such a short time that they knew it was true love. Oh. I wonder if Cinderella's doing the dishes these days. But no. But wait. It tells a story. Oh, I wish I could watch all of it. I need to watch Cinderella. Be our guest, be our guest. There it is. Wonder if they have any walk-ins available. So I'm halfway on Be Our Guest Bridge. Some locals have a name for it, which I forget at the time. The Trolls Bridge, I think. Lots of trolls guarding. Anyway, you have to have reservations just to get on here, but Kevin was able to let me come on. Oh, look at that. Something about a waterfall. So I just walked up here to be our guest restaurant and Kevin, one of the cast members, he was able to let me onto the bridge. However, I can only go halfway. You have to have reservations to go all the way in. And I asked about doing um, any walk-ups. He checked for one person, there's nothing available. I didn't ask for anything more because it's just me today. So uh, if I wanted something, I'll check it next time. Uh, but try to make your reservations in early as, as possible. For me, I wasn't able to because I didn't think I was going to be here, so once I realized it, it was already sold out or already uh, taken. So, we'll check next time. It's good to see that Gaston's Tavern is back open again. Uh. So I wanted to say something that uh, I do not own the rights to any of the music here at Disney World. Sometimes it's in the background. YouTube doesn't like it if we play it and it's a copyrighted music, so I do not own any of the rights. I do not mean to have them in there. I'm not recording for the music either. So, please YouTube, do not delete this. Please do not mute anything. Also, we do appreciate our viewers and we do want to make sure that they get the full experience, not the abbreviated version. <laughs> the mermaid herself. Under the sea. Thanks. Oh, yes. So they still have the fast press entrances. And you know, they don't have fast presses right now. They do have a disability pass. That's it. And trying to walk through here is a little difficult sometimes. Just want to come to see King Trident himself. Want to ask him a question. Hey, King Trident, how are you doing today? Hey, which way is the uh, Tomorrowland? This way? All right, we well, thank you very much. We'll see you later. All right. King Trident told me to head this way to go to Tomorrowland. We're gonna be paging Mr. Tom Morrow. Mr. Tom Morrow. You know, if you're a Hidden Mickey fan, if you like to find these Hidden Mickeys throughout the parks, one place to go is here at Little Mermaid. Um, it's not necessarily a Mickey, but it is a ode to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 
Now, I don't know where it is. I don't remember, but it is somewhere carved within the rocks on the entrance area for Little Mermaid. It's the shape of the, of the uh, ship. I don't see it. I don't remember where it is. I'm not in the line to be able to look at other ones. So, it's just something you could take a look at when you're here next time. See if you can find that hidden uh, 20,000 leagues underneath the sea ship. So, it's kind of neat how these Imagineers were able to hide some things in plain sight. So, I asked about the 20,000 leagues uh, carving inside the rocks, and I was told it's inside the queue line, which right now it is roped up. It's a total queue line. But around dinner time or so, this place won't be as busy, and Little Mermaid Under the Sea attraction site will be uh, less full, so I can get a chance to see it then. But I think I've got other things to do, so I'm going to have to check that out another time. But I hope you get a chance to check it out next time you're here at Walt Disney World here in Florida. Orlando, Florida, or Lake Buena Vista, or let's just say it's Disney. That's all it really is to me.